Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial with your casual keyboard guy. Um, remember like, share, subscribe, please. Um, show your boy some love. Um, today's lesson is being sponsored by my subscriber, uh, Brian Hall. Thanks for the donation, my brother. He requested Feel Like Making Love by D'Angelo. Um, so we're going to jump into this. I'm going to do a um, quick run through and then we're going to break it down. All right, we go. <clears throat> Right, guys let's break it down so a song um it's only really two parts of this song or really three you got the intro verse and chorus for the most part <clears throat> so starting off that intro you kind of pedal pedaling off, off of this e these double e's and um you basically got um something like this doing is he's pedaling off of the E and then he's doing this type of chord like an E7 so he's doing D G sharp and B okay and then what he's doing is taking this top note right here and just going up to C sharp and then going up to D and then coming back <laughs> back down so something like that so basically it's just D and this G sharp, the E and the bass, and you just just moving this B to the C sharp to the D to the C sharp back down to the B. So all right, real simple, real simple, okay. And they do that for a little bit, and then that's when they come into the uh, to the verse. So you know, I'm told it so you can see the nose. That's all I'm doing. Now if you can't reach that far. You can instead of playing a, a D in the bottom, you can put an E in the in, in the in it too. It'll be, it'll still be okay. So you'd be pretty much be going to E and the G sharp with a B, same line. That's pretty much the melody right there. So you can do the E, G sharp, B, or to make it really jazzy, add the D instead of the E. Because remember, the E is in the bass. But if you can't reach that far, because you really got to reach your octave to get to that last D. Okay? So if you can't reach that far, like I said, you can do an E triad, same thing. All right. 
saying okay. But then watch this. You gave that nice little dissonant sound when you put that D on the in the chord rather than the A. So let's uh, jump into the chorus, uh, the verse. So the first chord is gonna be this E minor nine. Strolling in the park. So you got E in the bass, G, B, D, F sharp, okay? First chord, E minor nine. E, G, B, D, F sharp, okay? Second chord is gonna be, I think, an A13, sus, yeah. So you got the same right hand chord. So from this E minor nine, guess what? You keep the same right hand chord and you just put an A in your bass. Okay? And you got the same G, B, D, F sharp, which is A, 13 sus. Next chord is gonna be a D major nine. So you got a D in the bass, F sharp, A, C sharp, So D major nine, D, F sharp, A, C, E. Okay. So those first three chords. Strolling in the park. Let them dump, 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 dump. All right. And now you got these two quick chords. So first one is C7. And you got B flat, C, and G, B flat, E, and G, or the C in the bass, C7. And then you want to do a half step down to B7. So B in the bass, A, E flat, and F sharp. Okay? So first one, C7, B flat, E, G, C. Then half step down, B, A, E flat, F sharp. Okay? And then we back at the top. Excuse me. See how that, that timing come in? Two. It's kind of like off the end of the beat. So I'm going from D. Da, 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 two, three, and one, two, three, and. So let's get that timing down. Um, and then what's the next bar? Okay, so you play it twice. to the this G major seven. So G B D F sharp with a G in the bass. Okay. And it's like you, you play this chord a lot. So get this chord in your fingers. <clears throat> so mm, well that's ready to well it kind of sounds like a Roberta Flack one. That it's pretty much the same, but they just playing a different key. But um he don't do that little riff but anyway. That's the time. Alright first chord of the chorus. Then you got the F sharp minor sep, the F sharp A, C sharp E. So you got that E minor nine again, the E, G, B, D, F sharp. Now here's a new chord to you, B minor nine. So you got B in the bass, A, C sharp, D, and then F. C sharp D F to be in the bass. Okay, so let's go back to let's go back to that G major seven B B D G B D F sharp with a G. That's the same. F sharp minor seven. All right, to you. All right, now the second time they do it, same first chord, same second chord. 
feeling like making. Now, this time we're going to go back to that C7. chord the last chords is they do the same chord from remember that b7 c7 to the b7 they do that same walk down and then they land on this As a matter of fact let me do it right here oh baby oh baby so we're gonna land on this e7 right here so you're gonna have e um g sharp b and d and that's gonna put us right back at the this or you can play that you can play the e chord like this or you can take the e out because you already got in the bass and put the d give that nice little jazzy sound and then remember that so either way you can do it like this or you can do it like this but the first time you play it you're gonna play the e7 like this or like this so i'm gonna show you uh so you got uh that's the time. Mm. I feel like to you. That's the time. I feel like making dreams come true. Start back at the top. <laughs> oh, sorry. So same thing. I mean, only other thing they do on the song is they just repeat that M part. song um it's not much more to that like you can <clears throat> kind of like just like give that nice little bouncy feel but uh, for the most part those are the, the basic chords and um you know uh you just like i said that this is my favorite part this you know i mean so, you, so the song is kind of bouncy so you kind of really the bounce is kind of coming from like the drums with that pocket and the bass really is thumping <clears throat> for the most part so basically you just you just having fun with your chords, you know what I mean? You just uh, and you know when I do that, you know how. So I'm doing like that D to the E, and then when I do, I'm going from the C sharp D to the to the uh, E flat. That's all I'm doing extra, and I'm just adding the, the one and the five. So C, G, rolling up from the D to the E flat to the E, and I'm using the C, C and G in my left, and then I'm doing the B and F sharp, and I'm rolling from the C sharp D to the E flat with the chord. So a little small little stuff like that. Um, another 
something you could do um <clears throat> this is the part when you get to this a you can <clears throat> bring the d down to the c sharp and that makes it a nice little chord so Instead of doing it up here, you can switch up this G chord and put it here. But I'm just going F sharp and I'm moving up from the A to the, the B and I'm playing D. So, real nice. And then another chord you can do off this F sharp is. Alright. <laughs> nice. I love this chord. So you got F sharp, A, G, and B, and I'm moving off from the F sharp to the G sharp. Then you could just do this on the E minor nine. Uh, let me see what I want to do. Uh, so I'm real nice with the doing that E minor nine is different. So um, what that's going to be is the E and the B, and then I got F sharp, G, A, B, and D. Now this is just extra stuff. I gave you the, the, the basics. I just wanted to give you something a little extra spicy. So that'd be where we were at. So we got uh, that time. I feel like making love Woo. to you. Woo. So, so uh, you got A or B, F sharp, and then you got A, uh, C, <coughs> C sharp, and E. This is the chord you can put off to that B. You can go up a whole step. C sharp, A sharp, B, E flat, and F sharp. So, so I'm going to show you. So you got... Hey. And um, another little thing they could do, you could walk up from the D7 to the E flat 7 to the E7 too. So you could be like, you could do that too to end it. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you that. So that'll be um, uh, C, E, F sharp, and A for the first chord for off of the D, D9. And then I'm going up to E flat 9, which is E flat, C sharp, F, G, and B. And then I'm um, going up another half step to D, F sharp, G sharp, and B. So that is, that comes in the, uh, the, the oh, oh, baby. So. so that's something extra you could do. So let me see if I can do that. Let me see. That's the time. enjoyed the extra little stuff
thanks guys for this, this video was a little short I hope you enjoyed the extra lesson if you're confused about the advanced stuff don't worry about it just do the easy stuff and get to the advanced stuff when you can but if you got any questions always hit me up like share subscribe leave some comments let me know if you're enjoying this content i'll let your boy peace